It's the best Christmas present ever for Mandy Horvath. After losing her legs in a horrible accident, she's getting prosthetics. Here to get my legs. Mandy always loved the great outdoors as much as working as a chef. She had just turned 21 and says she only had a couple drinks at a bar when she walked outside to get some air. That was the last thing she remembers. I believe I was incapacitated by a date rape drug. Mandy somehow wandered onto nearby railroad tracks and passed out. A freight train ran over her. The world went black. I woke up in an ambulance. Mandy awoke from a medically induced coma to discover that both her legs had been amputated. I was terrified. I went through a really long period of time wondering what my life was going to be like and how I was going to maneuver, how I was going to live normally, uh, how I was going to ever walk again, if I was ever going to dance, if I was ever going to be loved. She adapted to getting around in a wheelchair, but her ordeal led to a problem with alcohol, and one drunken episode resulted in jail time. That judge slapping me and throwing that book at me has saved my life. It proved the turning point. Mandy became a viral sensation after climbing the 2700 step Manitou Incline hiking trail in her hometown of Colorado Springs. I think the pack is literally as big as you are. She also trekked 14,000 feet up Pikes Peak twice and made her way to the top of the Statue of Liberty. I had to kind of lift myself up by the uh, railing. Yep, she even went skydiving. Woo! <laughs> now back to the moment she's been waiting for. Very lucky to be alive, and I'm even more blessed to have the people in my life that I do. Stan Patterson of Prosthetics and Orthotics Associates in Orlando, Florida, is outfitting Mandy with new prosthetic legs. I'm very proud of her. What she's having to deal with and overcome. Now the big moment. Feels good. Mandy is the first bilateral amputee in America to test out these next generation bionic limbs. It takes some time to get used to, but there's no slowing Mandy down. You got this kid. She celebrates with former pro wrestler Steve Chamberlain, whose charity 50 Legs has taught her that if you fall, pick yourself up and don't look back. A message Mandy is passing forward. For Mandy, it finally means being able to step past that tragic day. This is a victory for me because this is the first time that I've stood on the tracks that took my legs. My message to other people is don't give up. Tomorrow is another victory. Mandy's next goal, climbing Mount Kilimanjaro in Africa. She is a true inspiration.